Society in Florida and we're going to be taking a tour and seeing all of the wonderful cats and dogs that are still waiting for their forever homes. events manager for Halifax Humane Society. And this is Lana, actually. She is three months old. She was found as a stray right around Christmas. No one came to reclaim her, but she does have two people that are interested in adopting her. She'll probably have a home very soon. Heartworm treatment, but um, yeah, my kid just wanted a new dog, so we found her here. Um, we've had her home for about 10 days, but but yeah. Wow, so. wow, you happy to have your new dog? They're yeah. happy to have her back. She had to come back for a treatment, but now she gets to come home. <laughs> oh, wow. actually 14 um, which is probably the oldest dog that we have right now um, but he's still moving and grooving um, he would prefer to be the only dog in the household which is understandable um, he does know sit and shake so let's see if he could do that for you sit hey, hey. good boy ready good job good boy he's overall just a really sweet dog just wants to be the only dog in the household um, gonna lay by your side but cats and dogs will come spay or neutered uh, microchipped with their rabies vaccine their bordetella vaccine their distemper vaccine um, and then for cats they'll get their uh, feline distemper as well so all of our animals come medically ready to go already altered it's included in the adoption fee um, so most of the time you can get an animal for $35 and medically they're set for a year. Right. So that's ridiculous if you think about it, you know. We have many ways to get involved, whether it's volunteering, financially, donating uh, material goods, you know, blankets, towels, um, all the laundry needs that we have, um, food donations, anything like that. And then also we just, you know, want people to know that we're here and we service 
3,500 adoptions a year. We have animals that are ready to go, looking for homes. Come on out, you know, a lot of people may not know that we're here if they're from different areas, but we get a lot of people from other states that are driving through um, and who will adopt on site. So getting involved through adoptions, volunteering, fostering, anything like that to get the animals out of here. Man, you're like a walking encyclopedia. <laughs> you know, the in and outs of here. I'd like to think so. Wow. <laughs> I don't know that much, but I know some information. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you for coming to Halifax Main Studies Boarding and Grooming Facility. Ah, oh, he hit it on the nose. <laughs>